And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to play Geodetective World, a game created by A Little Eileen. Yet another game, last updated on the 29th of January 2022. So uh, A Little Eileen is definitely updating this game quite a bit. Uh, it's a do not move game. 5,000 hand picked, 5,000 plus hand picked tested locations. Uh, this is a fun one. I do enjoy this, and we're going to do this as a two minute no move challenge. Uh, and we're going to invite you to play along. The play along link is in the description below. Welcome to all new viewers and subscribers to the channel. I know there's been an uptick in that a lot from Finland. So we thank the Finns and uh, Nor some Norwegians and obviously folks from the UK and the United States as well. So appreciate all the new subscribers and the new viewers to the channel. We try to get these videos out on a daily basis. Uh, try to do most of them as play alongs as possible. And we also or I'll also do requests, so if you comment down below what game you want me to play, I will more than likely do a video on it if it's within reason. I'm not going to do some <laughs> one-off games where it's you know weird things or somebody made a uh, about whatever. Uh, nothing political or anything like that. We'll just get right into it uh, and play this game. So by the by the way, the play along link is in the description below. Okay, so we got taxi. Is this an English bloke? Um, not sure. It's entering as a taxi. This is a Danish or Dutch bloke. Could be. I'm looking at the uh, architecture. It looks like we could be, if I had to guess, in that part of the world. And no, maybe. Gratis. Maybe this is. Het National Motorsport Museum. In Denmark. Ne no, we're in the Netherlands. I don't know why I said Denmark. It's uh, Netherlands. Okay, minute 10. Okay. Not sure what this guy's looking at, but in any case, um, Modal Spore Museum. Sneak. Okay. National Modal Spore. So I'm just going to guess with Amsterdam on this one. I'm not uh, entirely sure on this. Um, just take a quick look. Rotterdam. There's a museum there, but that, I don't like it. Yeah, let's just go. I'm just going to go with Amsterdam on this one. Um, a lot of museums here popping up, which is interesting. Um... And we could be on the other side. I don't know. There's not a lot of water, so I don't think we're in where my guess is is probably No, it's Sneak. Okay, so Sneak Peak. No, but uh Sneak I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that wrong, but uh fifty six miles away, four thousand seven hundred and fifty points. Okay. Again, the clue on that was a lot of art the architecture, obviously the Dutch language. And we've got a pool here that looks like the pool that Mr. Bean, if you ever watched Mr. Bean, he jumped from, uh, he didn't want to jump off, but he fell off, I think, into the water. Almost looks like that, the pool from Mr. Bean. But I know that's not at Centrum. Uh, Czech. So we're in the Czech, Czechia, Czech Republic, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what the, should we call it Czechia? Should we call it Czech Republic? 738. Now I'm missing a lot of clues here, but um, that's the Mokri Bar. Tridvorska Kolin. Okay. So I think, let's see. It's like Travorsky clean. I don't know if that's it. Oh, 
A lot of clues. Um, and to be honest, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. Maybe we'll go on this side. Let's just see anything else. There's probably a big sign here that I missed. Now, nope. just Kolinska. Colleen, Colleen. Colleen, there it is. Okay, so we were Colin. <laughs> that's how I would, as people in the United States would say, would say that's Colin with a K, but it, Colleen, I'm, I'm not sure if anyone even pronouncing that right, but uh, 82 miles away. Okay, so we got the right. Kaufland. Is that Byland? By in German? Um, this is interesting. Kaufland, Colleen. Um, yeah, so obviously the clues there in that round were the uh, dot CZ. So you knew you were in the Czech Republic. The uh, the language, I guess, is to a certain extent. Um, and then Colleen, I saw that on one of them. Um, actually, what was the street? Um, Anyway, it wouldn't have been on this street, but it was like Travotsky, Travotska, maybe something like that. Uh, but pretty straightforward in that one. A lot of clues there. 4,635 points. And we get off to the third round. And uh, Europe again, I believe. Fresh homemade lemonade. Ska. Bavor Ska. Bavarian sausage. This guy's got a Green Bay Packers hat on. Pilsner. So maybe we're in the Czech Republic again. Czechia. 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 Are we there again? I think we are. I think this could be Prague. Just for those signs there. And... Has that guy got a rat tail? Interesting. Um, Saint Cathedral of Saint Vitus. Vitus. But is this Prague? Saint George's Square. Okay, a minute 10 to go. I thought this person had something on their foot. I saw that. It was... Uh... Okay. Pilsner. Okay, so I'm going to go to Prague on this. I'm just going to... It's my first get, initial guess. I guess we could be Bratislava, but I don't know. Um, okay, so trying to find a cathedral is going to be, shouldn't be hard, but it looks like it could be. Twelve seconds. Watch this be like Bratislava or something. But I think I think those signs are, and it is Prague. Good. So at least it got the right city. I knew that those signs, the street signs there, the red signs of the quarter of the buildings, reminiscent of Prague. The ska at the end, the SK, uh, SKA, is um, I don't know, just Slovakia or Czech. For me, and uh, we looks like we got probably the right latitude, but two miles away, and um, Cathedral Saint Vita, shrine of natural and home of national treasures. Church founded around 920. Interesting, so that's pretty cool. I do like history. Um, Prague, Czech Republic, 4,991 points. Okay. Two rounds to the Czech Republic. Maybe I should be doing something on the Czech Republic there, huh? Nebraska wildlife. Okay. We got goat suckers, woodpeckers, and uh, kingfishers, and owls, and cuckoos, pelicans, herons, and the birds of Nebraska. Charles Darwin, A Life of Discovery. Um... Okay, so we got a museum in Nebraska. There's compressed gas there. Don't know if you want to go in that area. Um, Nebraska wildlife. So we're either 
Okay, so Museum in Nebraska. I'm going to guess we're either Lincoln or Omaha. My bet is that we're probably Omaha. Larger city. Um, Nebraska Furniture Mart, Baxter Arena. Maybe this is the Children's Museum. Would the Children's Museum look like this? Maybe. But the Museum of Shadows, the Jocelyn Art Museum, no. The Durham Museum, I don't know. Um, the House of Conundrum, no. 34 seconds. Um, not many. The Museum of Shadows. Um, Children's Museums could be close, but I'm not sold on that one. And watch, we're in Lincoln. This would be interesting because I, you, know, you think about Lincoln and the University of Nebraska and um, Gerald Ford birth site. So if you want to go to Omaha, at least we're getting a view of Omaha. And now it was Lincoln. Should have gone with that. And we are at, should have looked at that actually. Uh, University of Nebraska. Uh, I had thought about that. Uh, the University of Nebraska State Museum, I guess that's what that is. Uh, I thought about that for a second. The colors of that sign, red, Nebraska. But I don't know. I just felt like you would have a museum like that in a larger city. But uh, nonetheless, I probably at the time should have gone over to Lincoln to check it out a little bit. But hey, it happens. 4,776 points, 50 miles away. And uh, now, I, now we all know that uh, Lincoln, Nebraska is 50 miles away from Omaha. So there we go. Fourth round of Nebraska. So we got Van Gogh, Mexico. Okay. Toluca. So folks, no fin Finland round on this game. Uh, but we're in Toluca, which is interesting because I've been to Toluca before when in another game. Not specifically been to Toluca myself, but in this game. So I often view myself going to these cities and these places as um, like I've been there. Okay, so Toluca... Now, Centro, wait, cultural, so something cultural, could we be here? Is that why that popped out at me? Looking to the west, what is this here? There's a big M on it. Could this be it though? I feel like this could be it. Uh. Yeah, let's see that little. If we look to the north, that thing there. Maybe we're down here. Anyway, I think this is what I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna go. Um. <laughs> no, that's not where we were. We weren't in in that part of Toluca, but we were close. We got the right area, I guess. Uh, the Van Gogh Live Toluca. So it actually, it's actually. A uh, exhibit or a place that exists there, so that's interesting. Four thousand nine hundred eighty-four points. So, <sighs> average game for me on this one. I know that's probably what did I get here uh, for this game? Twenty-four one three six. I'm now a master seeker. There we go. Great. Um, not too bad. Could have done, I guess, a little better. Uh, I will do this. I have to do this as an untimed game at some point. I just need to find the time where I could potentially go for thirty minutes plus in something like this. Um, and time is of a pr premium for me just with kids and work and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then also, too, I'm getting a lot of um, people asking me to do stuff with regards to Finland. Obviously, a lot of support there. So, But want to make sure this uh, channel is all about everybody around the world. I will do focus on a lot of different countries at times. Uh, but enjoyed this one and uh, enjoy these types of games. And again, this channel is all about you. So if, if there are the majority wants to do Global Games will do that. If the majority wants to do games about Algeria, I'll do that. Um, but all it's, most importantly is uh, giving a little bit of something to everybody that watches and subscribes to this channel. Um, 
So that's the part, point of this channel. It's about you. It's about uh, what you guys want to play, what you want to see me play, uh, and, and take an interest in me viewing the world because I, I generally enjoy playing this, generally enjoy doing it. Um, some of my kids have learned quite a deal. With the fin Finnish stuff, I will be honest, they've seen, uh, hey, Daddy, you're getting a lot of views with Finland, etc. And what happens is they actually are watching. They're like, hey, I didn't realize in the... Uh, back lands in the woods and in, in there's red homes in Finland and they're learning about, they learned at Helsinki and they learned about Lapland and stuff like this. And they learned, you know, that uh, Norway has so many tunnels that they probably wouldn't in an American school system uh, get that understanding. So that's the other thing I'm looking at this folks is seeing this through the eyes of my kids and seeing how they are learning a great deal about stuff around the world. So that's another added advantage about doing this channel. And I just appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in to subscribe and play these games. It means a lot. With that said, uh, we're not doing the game breakdowns like we used to. I think that uh, a lot of people get enough out of the game. I think it, um, it's not no, no sense in bringing rehashing things that aren't necessary. But if you want the detail, I'm more than happy to do that if that's what people want. But uh, the first round went off to the Netherlands, missed that by a little bit. Went to Czechia for a couple of rounds, so maybe I needed to spend some time doing some Czechia games, Czech Republic, whatever you call it. The fourth round missed again a little bit uh, off that one, 50 miles in Nebraska, and the last one in Toluca. So close, but uh, missed some of the key points in some of them, like Amsterdam, uh, or actually Sneak, Lincoln, and there in Czechia. So with that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.